What's up guys? If you guys are anything like me, I can't get candy into my mouth fast enough. So we're gonna see what happens when you feed people candy with a 12 gauge. America! So most of the time on Halloween, I end up sitting at home while my kids go out trick-or-treating. And I don't know about you, but it annoys the hell out of me when those grown-ups come showing up trying to knock on the door and take all the kids' candy. So I figured maybe I have a better way to feed it to them. So what we're doing today is we're taking these shotgun shells and we're packing them full of candy. And uh, we're going to see what, what happens to, uh, to our pumpkin-headed mannequin over there. So we've got this old uh, trusty cheap Maverick 88 12 gauge that uh, you find at any gun shop. And uh, so the first thing we're going to start with is going to be some nerds. When I was a little kid, I loved these things, man. They're pure sugar and, and you just eat them by the mouthful. So we've got a shotgun shell full of nerds. We're going to see what it does to this pumpkin. We're going to breech load everything because obviously you, uh, it has trouble feeding and ejecting uh, with, when the end is all mangled up because we got candy in it. So, breach load. There we go. All right, shot number one. Nerds, fucking head. First shot didn't do much of anything. Uh, so we're gonna check it again. Uh, another nerd shot and see what happens here. <laughs> I think most of it ended up splattering everywhere. Let's look and see. Doesn't look like it did much of anything. I got a couple little wet spots here, but that's about it. There's a couple little scrapes. I don't know if that's from the wadding or what that's from. Uh, and you got a couple little things on the top. So we'll get up here close to it and see what happens. All right, so if that was a visitor to our house on Halloween, he would not have been very satisfied because we didn't end up with any candy in his pumpkin mouth. So what we're gonna do is shoot it up close and see what happens then. <laughs> that was a little bit more. <laughs> So I don't know what you call these. These are like these little, uh, pla they're, they're like little hard candy bells of some sort. It's kind of what they look like. I don't really know what it is, little little sugar things. Uh, but anyway, that's what's in this shell. And we're gonna go ahead and shoot this pumpkin. Maybe we can get it to kind of stick in there. Oh, that's cool. Let's look and see. Yeah, there they go. Stuck right in his little face. Yeah. Cool. All right, moving on to one of my favorites is Smarties. I love these things. I eat them by the fistful. Uh, uh, it's one of the candies I love the most. You're probably familiar with them. It's those little bitty uh, sugar discs that are wrapped up. Uh, I don't know what you would call that. Twisty plastic stuff. Uh, so that's that's what we're working with now. Let's look and see what happens with those. If I can get it in my shotgun. There we go. Huh. Let's do it again. Kind of hard to do this without getting my finger. I got it last time. Oh, oh that, was, that was pretty painful, I think. All right, let's go check it out. No. Oh, yeah, took a chunk out of the top. I can't really tell where I'm hitting because this candy is fairly inconsistent in its trajectory, as you could imagine. So uh, there it goes. That would be uh, another, satisfied, another satisfied visitor with a mouthful of candy. All your uh, trick-or-treaters like bubble gum, right? So this is double bubble. And we're going to run that. Oh. 
Yeah. Our wadding is doing a lot of damage also, so let's go look and see if we can figure out what's what. Yep, went in. See what's inside. Mm, I don't see a lot. Bunch of wadding. Okay. Good stuff. Alright, so more double bubble in the face. Bubble gum, so violent. Yeah, I think the only bubbles he'll be blowing is bubbles of blood. All right, so this will be pretty cool. This is uh, a little bit closer to a slug, I guess. So this is uh, just regular jawbreakers. It's the hard candy that you can't chew up and you break your teeth with. So, let's load it in. Oh! Yeah, that kind of did what I expected it to. Pretty, uh, pretty severe jawbreaker hold in the face. Yeah, so... I don't think that was just wad. I think that was the uh, the jawbreaker going in there, and uh, that's pretty significant damage from a from a piece of candy. But uh, pretty cool. All right, this one's red jawbreaker. That's my favorite flavor. Let's see uh, let's see if it's our pumpkin's favorite flavor upside the head. I am trying to get it in. There it goes. Yeah, that's unhappy visitor. Yeah, that's pretty tough. Pretty tough. Let's break it up and see if there's jawbreakers in there. Well, that broke off. Mm. Got some wadding. Well, it looks like the jawbreakers kind of broke up, maybe. Guess, uh, yeah, here's like some little sugar pieces and stuff. Looks like they splattered inside there. They're everywhere. See the color all in it? Yeah, you can see little busted up pieces of jawbreaker. That's pretty cool. All right. So this time around, we're using Gobstoppers, one of my favorite candies. One of the, uh, the bigger tragedies of my life was the disappearance of the Chewy Gobstoppers. So if you guys know where to find those, comment or I don't care, mail them to me, whatever. Uh, those things are like gold. I, I miss them really bad. But at any rate, uh, enough whining about past uh, things in my life. Here's uh, Gobstoppers. They're going to, uh, these are kind of like buckshot, I guess. And this, this candy's been patterning really bad. So let's see what happens. I think we're locked in there. Oh, yeah, that's definitely gobstopper in the face right there. Oh, you can smell it. So that's where our wadding hit. Didn't go anywhere hardly, but that's uh, that's at least one gobstopper to the face there. So uh, it went in pretty good. That was uh, it's good for home defense or feeding older visitors. All right, so now we got uh, Mike and Ike. Flip it over, you can read it, Mike and Ike. It's the, uh, those gooey pill-shaped candies that are kind of like, uh, oh, those cinnamon ones, whatever they're called, I can't remember. But these are packed in, like three of them next to each other. So let's see what this does. That is some pretty brutal Mike and Ike. That might be the one to use. One is the wad, one is the Mike and Ike. 
I think this is uh, that's probably the Mikey night because it's a lot less uniform than the wad circle here. Look at that. That's pretty ugly. Cool. Next. So uh, since the Mike and Ike was so much brutality earlier, we are going to give it another shot. See how it works out. Oh God, Mike and Ike, they are, uh, they are brutal. Go take a look. I think Mike and Ike is the uh, the definitive shotgun champion as far as uh, home defense candy rounds. I think I may forego the buckshot and just start packing this stuff at home. All right, guys, thanks for joining us uh, here on this beautiful day in Texas. I feel like I have to say something about the weather. It's like 70, 75 degrees and sunny out here. You don't usually get that in Texas. Texas is typically like the surface of the sun. So uh, it's a great day. Thanks for joining us. The candy was cool. Remember, man, Mike and Ike is brutal if you have to load shotgun shells. So you guys have a good one. Hey guys, it's Mr. Guns. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was cool, go ahead and like and subscribe. We should have a bunch of cool stuff coming in the future too. Uh, or follow us on Facebook and Instagram if you just want to get good gun deals or see what we got going on. The links will be in the descriptions below. So thanks for watching the video, and we hope you'll follow us in the future.